Virtual disks are amazing and super useful. If you have never used a virtual disk before, then you need to start using them. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to create a virtual disk in Windows, how to use it, and why they are so useful. So let's create a virtual disk in Windows. If you're on Windows 11, there are two ways to create virtual disk. First modern way is to go to settings and then go to storage and then go to advanced storage settings and here select disk and volumes here at the top you'll see option to create a virtual disk you just need to click on create vhd and here you can set up your virtual disk or you can use disk management tool here make sure select any drive or partition and then click on action and here you'll see option to create VHD. Both works the same way, so whichever method you prefer, go with that. I'm going to go with the Windows 11's new method from the settings. So I'm going to click on create VHD and here we can give it a name. For this tutorial, I'm going to call it virtual disk. Okay. And then we can select the location where we want to save it. And here I'm going to select the D drive. And for the size, I think I'm going to go with the 100. For the virtual hard disk format, we can select VHD or VHDX. VHDX is the newer one. It supports up to 64 terabyte of storage. It's more stable. Even if your PC crashes, it can survive. So it won't fail or get corrupted. So I suggest you guys to use the VHDX. And for the virtual hard disk type, leave it to dynamic. If you choose the fixed size, it will allocate all the space, like for example, 100 gigabytes right now, which I don't want to. So as you put the files in there, it will allocate the space depending on how much data you have in it. Okay, so just leave it to dynamic and then click on create. And after that, it will ask you for the confirmation. So you can click on yes. And you can also attach it click on yes and you need to initialize the disk just like a actual disk so it's going to ask you for that and give it whatever name you want in label okay so i'm going to call it virtual disk drive letter whatever you want and click on format and then click on yes and this will actually automatically mount that disk here if you open the file explorer and go to this PC and here you can see our virtual disk is here. Now, one of the best thing about virtual disk is that it's portable. Okay, if you go to the location where you saved it, you can actually find the virtual disk file. Okay, it's actually a file just like MP4 or any document file. But the difference is that it can store files inside just like actual hard drive the only difference is that it's gonna take the space wherever you save it so i have saved it in the d drive so it's gonna take the space in d drive in simple words think of this as any other regular file like mp4 any document file uh yeah it takes the space just like any other file on the disk but the difference between this file and other files are that it's a virtual disk where you can store other files inside. So if I go to this PC, I can eject it. So it also acts as a external drive. So if I go and click on it, eject, it's gone. Now, if you want to mount it again, you have to find that virtual disk again. Okay, and then right click and open with File Explorer and it will automatically mount that. Now. I can use this storage just like the regular storage. I can store files inside, okay, like that. It works just like a regular hard drive. You can store files in it. You can use it for some other purposes. Maybe, let me give you guys a best example here. I'm gonna open control panel here and I'm gonna search for backup and I'm gonna use this backup and restore option here and I'm gonna click on create a system image and here you'll see that virtual disk is selectable here I can actually use this virtual disk to create a system image of my computer for this demo I can't really create a backup uh, on this because the Windows size is bigger than the virtual disk so it won't work I need bigger virtual disk for that but you got the idea you can use this 
uh, virtual disk for almost anything. It can also replace the external drives. Okay, let's say you created a backup. Now, you can move that virtual disk to wherever you want. You can create multiple copies of it. You can, let's say, uh, I'm gonna copy this and maybe move it, let's say, for example, to uh, another computer. I can just move it just like that. It's like a file, but can be moved and duplicated as many times as you want. Since this is a file, you can also send this over network, maybe upload it to the OneDrive, Google Drive, or any other cloud storage that you use. Now, another thing about this is that you can also encrypt this. The BitLocker works, okay? So I can right click on it once it's mounted and I can click on turn on BitLocker, okay? Here, I can use the password or the smart card to unlock the drive. I don't have one, so I can create a password here and make sure to save a recovery key. Okay, you can save the recovery key to wherever you want. Okay, I'm just gonna save a file actually. And now it's encrypted. Let's unmount it and let's mount it again. Now, if I want to access it, I need to enter the password here. So if you want to protect your files or data, yeah, you can also use this and it's a virtual thing. You can save it wherever you want on the cloud or, you know, you got the idea. Now let me put the password here and I'm gonna click on unlock and just like that. Look at that, now it's accessible. And there are many other useful things you can do with this. Think of this as a actual hard disk, but portable. You can move it, duplicate it, send over network through the cloud storage or something. You can encrypt it with the password, BitLocker. That's it for this one. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.